Welcome to this next video by Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and uh, what we're going to be showing you today is how to bed a keyframe uh, in a grand piano. This is the really the first step that uh, you should take in the process of uh, regulating the action um, uh, of, a, of a piano, of a grand piano. <clears throat> uh, bedding the keyframe, here we've got uh, what you're looking at uh, in front of you here is a, a grand piano and what I've done is I've, I took the the action and the keys out and uh, actually took the keys and the action stack off of the key frame <clears throat> and uh, so what I've done here is I put the key frame back in the piano and I've tightened down the key blocks um, so that uh, it's firmly holding the the um, key frame to the to the key bed okay now bedding the key frame uh, means that this this here is the front rail and uh, so that has bedding it is the process of making sure that you have uh, direct and, and solid contact between the key frame and the key bed um, across the whole length of the front um, front rail here okay and then the second step is going to be uh, bedding the the balance rail okay this right here is the balance rail with all the balance rail pins um, and that um, having that um, solidly contact the the key bed also is uh, crucial in in, um, in having the the most efficiency and, and uh, less noise you can, you can get knocking if the key frame isn't bedded correctly but you also can lose efficiency um, in your playing <clears throat> so uh, the first step is to um, to bed the key frame okay and what uh, what you want to do is um, with with the key blocks um, screwed and tightened down okay you want to check okay and you can do this with the with the keys and the action still in it I just took the keys and the action off uh, so that uh, we could see things a little bit better okay but what you're going to do is you're going to just knock okay and you can use your fingers or um, you know some kind of a tool you don't want to use a hard tool to that would um, mar the the wood in the key frame but um, just knock on that and you want to do it on the front rail all the way down to the end okay to see if there's any knocking okay now I've taken care of the, this one this one actually um, had some knocking on this end and uh, what I came to find out um, when I took the key block off somebody had uh, uh, taped a, a shim underneath the, bo the bottom edge bottom side of the key block okay and so that was making it so the key block wasn't pushing down the end of the key frame far enough okay so so what all I did that was an easy fix for this one is that I just removed that shim that somebody had put in at one point um, and that took away the knocking okay now if you do have some knocking in the in the uh, front rail okay what you're going to want to do is you want to mark you know with chalk or something that um, the places that are knocking okay and what you're going to do then, because that, that means those spots are high, okay, and the rest of the parts that aren't knocking are low, okay, because when they're low, they're coming in contact with the key bed. If they're high, that means there's a space between the key frame and the key bed. Now, what you'll want to do is um, take a real fine sandpaper, like 240 grit or something like that, and um, actually lightly sand the areas that aren't knocking, okay, because what you essentially want to do is make those um, you know to to make those even with the parts that are knocking so that the parts that are knocking are in contact with the key bed okay so that uh, you know and, and you might have to do a little a few um, um, times to to before you get it all and before you remove all the all the knocking um, and then once you once you've uh, sanded just make sure you vacuum out the out the key bed um, and the keyframe to make sure that uh, there's no no um, dust and everything so you've got all that uh, taken care of okay so then once you've got the other thing is before you before you bed the key the front rail you want to make sure that um, and we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit more about this in the in the balance rail but there's glide bolts in the balance rail you want to make sure those aren't pushing down aren't down too far because what that'll do is that'll raise the um, 
or the front rail if, if those glide bolts are down too far and that will cause knocking also. So you know what I usually do is I raise those far enough so that the glide bolts and the balance rail aren't actually touching the the key bed. Okay so that way I know that the front rail is down solid on the on the key bed. Okay, so once you've got the um, once you've got the uh, front rail bedded down nice and solid onto the key bed, we're going to go on to the balance rail. Okay, and uh, the balance rail, like I said, has these glide bolts. Okay, some of them, uh, and you won't you won't always find gl glide bolts in every single piano, but um, most pianos will have glide bolts. Uh, this one actually has Steinway, and this is a Mason Hamlin that have. Uh, glide bolts with the top of it is shaped like a tuning pin so you can just use a tuning hammer to to make adjustments to those glide bolts um, some of them have screws you know with like um, slotted screw heads then what you can do is take a real um, short screwdriver to make adjustments um, some of them you actually have to take the keys out to have, to get access at them and uh, and then there are some uh, glide bolts that actually have to be adjusted from underneath. Not quite as convenient as if they're on the top, adjusted on the top, but um, that's what it is with, with uh, some pianos. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, so what we're going to do here is, and, and what I've done, if you can hear that knocking, okay, that means the glide bolt isn't um, isn't in contact with the key bed. And like I said, I ra raised those up before I bedded the front rail so that um, you know, so that it wasn't uh, raising the key key frame up on, um, too much. So once um, and what I've done is I've put all of these, all of the there's actually six uh, glide bolts um, on this in, in this action frame. There aren't always six. Sometimes there's less, um, but there happen to be six. And what I've done, I've I've adjusted all of them so that um, so that they're just just a little bit above the the key bed okay so you're gonna hear knocking on all of them okay so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn them down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock on the key frame while I um, while I turn the glide bolts okay so here I've got um, Okay, and if you listen, you'll be able to tell, hopefully this will come through on the video, but uh, you'll be able to tell at that point, and, and uh, you know, you can try this on your own piano too, is, is, is when you're knocking, you get that knocking noise, and I'm going to turn, uh, to turn it down, you're going to turn clockwise, and until you hear a more solid sound, and that knocking will go away, so listen carefully. Okay, so you could hear, um, at least I could hear, and I'll go back here again and do it one more time. Okay, so we're just to that point where, where, the, um, where the knocking went away. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to start in the middle with the glide bolts. So we've got six. I did the one. I want to go a little further down on that one. There we go. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to go to the one on the left of the one I just did. Okay, and then I'll go over to this other side here. Okay, now you don't want to go too far. You want to go just past that point that it um, that it contacts the key bed. So what you might have to do is make a small adjustments 
um, you know, to the is when, once you get all of them set, uh, you want to go back and check to see that they're all nice and solid, and um, you might have to make small adjustments to each one to just tweak it so that until you get all rid of all that knocking, now, you don't want to get them too too low, okay? But you want to get to that to that point where they're just uh, just um, to the point of uh, contacting the key bed, because um, once you put the keys on, that will that will even put a little more pressure on it um, to make the bedding even more solid. So, so that's the that's the process of bedding the key bed. Now the back the back rail, which is um, all the way in the back of the key frame, uh, most of the time that doesn't need adjusted, but um, you can uh, you can adjust um, the dags in the back that hold the back rail down. If uh, need be to um, adjust, if you get if you get knocking on the back rail, okay. But um, in most cases, that um, that doesn't get as much heavy wear from playing, okay, because it's just the backs of the keys that fall back down on it, rather than the actual playing, which is happens on the front rail. So um, that's the basis basic uh, process of. Betting the keyframe. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to see all of our piano repair videos, feel free to visit our website at howardpianoindustries.com.